What's going on everybody? This is Nusatu G here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And we are back with another video today. In this video, I'm going to be going over the Ottoman Empire in World War One on Codex Entry Section 5, The World. This is Codex 6 out of 13 on The World. So let's listen to the Codex and then we'll get more into the background and of the Ottoman Empire during World War One on Wiki. Let's go. Although the 600-year-old Ottoman Empire was huge, stretching from the Balkans to the Persian Gulf, it was in decay and had lost wars to both Italy and a Balkan alliance in the years preceding the First World War. However, the Ottoman Empire would still prove to be a formidable opponent, with the Young Turks movement and the institution of a constitutional government having paved the way for modernization in all aspects of life, including the military. Minister of War Enver Pasha, one of the three Pashas, who basically ran the empire during the war, dreamed of a modern Turkish nation that did not look to the Arab world for guidance, but looked to itself. His dream would one day come true, but he would not live to see it. Whoa, okay. So, that, that was the Codex. Now, we're going to go to Wiki, and we're going to listen to the mic. We're going to go read the background stuff, the history of the Ottoman Empire. So, people ask, what was the Ottoman Empire in World War I? On November 2nd, Russia declared war on the Ottoman Empire. France and the British Empire, Russia's wartime allies, followed suit on the 5th. Enver Pasha had succeeded in bringing the Ottoman Empire to the First World War on the side of the Central Powers, Germany and Austria, Hungary, with also the Bul Balkans. Bulgaria was one of the three. All the four, remember the quadruple alliances, was the central powers, which was Germany, Austria, Hungary, Ottoman Empire, and Bulgaria. Now, how did the Ottoman Empire end? The occupation of the Constantinople took place in accordance with the armistice of Mudros ending the Ottoman participation in World War One. The occu damn. This is why I leave notifications off. Because I forget to turn them off before the damn videos. Um, the occupation had two stages. The initial occupation took place from November 13th, 1918 to March 16th, 1920. From March 16th, 1920, the Treaty of Severs. How did Turkey enter World War One? The Ottoman Empire joined the Central Powers from, to form the Triple Alliance with the signing of the August 1914 Turco-German Alliance. Turkey formally entered World War One on October 28, 1914, with the bombing of Russian Black Sea ports. The Triple Intent, or Allied Powers, declared war on the Ottoman Empire on November 4, 1914, probably. How did the Ottoman Empire come to an end? Page 9. Collapse of the Ottoman Empire, 1918-1920. The armistice of October 31, 1918, ended the fighting between the Ottoman Empire and the Allies, but did not bring stability or peace to the region. Let's go to the history of the Ottoman Empire during World War I. The Ottoman Empire participated in World War I as one of the central powers. The Ottoman Empire entered the war by carrying out a surprise attack on Russia's Black Sea coast on October 29, 1914, with Russia responding by declaring war on it on November 1, 1914. Ottoman forces fought the Allies in the Balkans in the Middle Eastern theater of World War I. The Ottoman Empire's defeat in the World War in 1918 was a crucial and eventual dissolution of the empire in 1922. The history of the Ottoman Empire. The rise was all the way back in the 1300s to the mid-1400s. Then the classic age was from the mid-1400s to the mid-1500s. Transformation from 15... Th this isn't even World War One. This is defeat and dissolution. They ended the Ottoman Empire back in 1922. They were gone. They were done. They're done. Um. Now, military activities. Let's go to the military activities. Military activities. The Ottoman Empire entry into the World War One and Middle Eastern Theater in World War One. The Ottoman Empire entry into World War One began on October 29th, 1914. 1914 when it launched a Black Sea raid against Russian ports. Following the attack, Russia and its allies Britain and France declared war on the Ottomans in 1914, November 1914. The Ottoman commen commencement of military action came 
after three months of formal neutrality along it had signed a secret alliance with the Central Powers in August 14, on August 1914. The political reasons for the Ottoman Sultan's entry into the world were disputed. The Ottoman Empire was an agricultural state in an age of industrialized warfare. The economic resources of the empire were defeated by the cost of the Balkan Wars of 1912 and 1913. The great landmass of Anatolia was between the Ottoman army headquarters in, Ist in Istanbul and many of the leader theaters of war. During Abdul Hamid II's Rain civilian communications had improved, but the road and rail, work, n rail network was not ready for war. It took more than a month to reach Syria, and nearly two months to reach Mesopotamia. To reach the border with Russia, the railway ran only 60 kilometers east of Ankara, and from there it was 35 days to Erzurum. The army used Trabzon port as a logistical shortcut to east. It took less time to arrive on any of these fronts from London to Ottoman War Department given to the poor condition of Ottoman supply ships. The empire fell into disorder with the declaration of war with Germany on November, 9, on November 11th. A conspiracy was discovered in Constantinople against Germans in the CUP, in the CUP, in which some of the CUP leaders were shot. The f this followed the November 12th revolt on Adrianople against a German military mission. On November 13th, the bomb exploded in Enver Pasha's palace, which killed five German officers but missed the Enver Pasha. These events were followed on November 18th with more anti-German plots. Committees formed, pa committees formed around the country to rid the country, country to rid the country of those siding with Germany. Army and the Navy officers protested against the assumption of authority by Germans. On December 4th, widespread riots took place throughout the country. On December 13th, there was an anti-war demonstration by women in Kon Konek, Izmir, and Erzurum. Throughout December, the cup dealt with many with mutiny along soldiers in barracks and among naval crews. The head of the German mission the head of the German military mission field marshal, von der Goltz, had a conspiracy against his life. The military power remained firmly in the hands of the war minister, Enver Pasha, domestic issues, civil matters, on interior minister, Tauta Pasha, and an interesting central point, an interesting point, Simal Pasha had the control over Ottoman Syria single-handedly. rest of the governance, proven, provincial Governors ran their regions with differing degrees of autonomy. <coughs> an, interest, <clears throat> an interesting case is Izmir. Rami Bey behaved most of the region was in that neutral zone between the, the warring states. So the warring states, I don't know what the warring states are. Mm. But well, I really want to know who is, who, what the one, what the cup is. I don't know what cup is. Committee of Union and Progress. Okay. So that's what it is. Leaders after the three Pashas. Let's look at the... Also, let's go back. Because there's another thing on the sea. Up here. Enter the war. Nope, not here. The Black Sea Raid. What's the Black Sea Raid, you ask? Damn. Okay. So the Black Sea Raid was an Ottoman naval sortie against Russian ports in the Black Sea on November on October 29th, 1914, supported by Germany, that brought the Ottoman Empire into World War I. The attack was conceived by Ottoman War Minister Enver Pasha, German Admiral Wilhelm Sauchin, and the German Foreign Ministry. So this was a picture of the Black Sea Raid on Russia. Oil tanks in Novorossiysk harbor burned following bombardment. Location Black Sea. Result? Russian Empire declares war on Ottoman Empire on November 2nd. UK launches retaliatory attacks on the Dardanelles, followed by British-French declaration of the war on November 5th, and the entrance of the Ottoman Empire into World War I. So, they did that on themselves. Really. Um, let's see. What else do you guys want to see? Let's see who Abdul Hamid II was. Who he was. So, that's Abdul Hamid II. 
he was Prince. Okay, that's that's just him. Um, I don't think he took a large part of the war, so we're not gonna get, probably get into him. But I'm not sure. He probably did, but we don't know, or I don't know at least. Thirty-five days. What's Erzum? Metropol Metropolitan Municipality. Damn these big ass words. Kiram Kiramit Kiramit Lik Tepi Kiramit Lik Tepi Sky Ski Jump Kiramit Kiramit Lik Tepi Ski Jump I don't know what that means <clears throat> I have no idea what that is So let's see Who Trabzon is Trabzon Port It's a place Another met Metropolitan Munits Municipality. This was a big area. Um, Enver Pasha. We gotta see who one of the Pashas is. Enver Pasha. He was Ottoman Turkish. This was Enver Pasha. He was the Minister of War in office. The second Pasha is Semal Pasha. No, it's Talat Pasha. This is the interior minister. This is Muhammad Talat Pasha. And then we'll see the third Pasha, who is Samal Pasha. This is Dijamal Pasha. D. Jimal. Jamal Pasha. He was just a minister of the navy. Dang, that big ass mustache. Um. Who is F German military mission Field Marshal von der Goltz? We gotta see who this is too. Komar von der Goltz. He was part of the. He was part of the. Komar von der Goltz. That's who he is. But he was, he was, he was part of these wars. There you go. That's it. Let's. What is this? Empire during World War One. War with oh, uh, I can't read this. Um, war with Russia. Ottoman's entrance into the war greatly increased the triple intense military burdens. Russia had to fight on the Caucasus campaign and the Persian campaign along with the UK. Ismail Enver Pasha set off for the Battle of Sarikamish with the intention of recapturing Batum and Kars, overrunning Georgia and they occupy northwestern Persia and the oil fields. Fighting the Russians on the Caucasus, however, the Ottomans lost ground in over 100,000 soldiers in a series of battles. 60,000 Ottoman soldiers died in the winter of 1916 to 1917 in the Mus-Bitlis section of the front. That's a lot. Here's a picture right here. Uh, top, description, top destruction of the city of Erzurum left upper Russian forces... Wounded Muslim refugees, Ottoman forces, and army and fief refugees. So this is just a bunch of pictures that people took. They're blurry, but that's all you can see. In July 1918, Ottomans faced the Central Caspian dictatorship at the Battle of Baku with the goal of taking Baku at the Caspian Sea. Uh, the f these are the war in Caucasus and Persia. This is the 1st Battalion of the Armenian Volunteer Unit. This was Tarek Cossacks under Nikolai, Russian Caucasus Army, all right here. This was the 5th Infantry Regiment Officers at the Battle of Sardar Darabad, right here. War with Britain. British captured Basri Basra in November 14th, November 1914th, and marched north into Iraq. Initially, Ahmed Jamal Pasha was ordered to gather an army of, in Palestine to threaten the Suez Canal. In response to the Allies, including the newly reformed Australian and New Zealand Army Corps, opened another front with the Battle of Gallipoli. The army led by Ahmed Jamal Pasha to eject the British from Egypt was stopped at the Suez Canal in February 1915. And again, the next summer the canal was a vital was vital to the british war effort the 1915 locust plague bl breaks out in the P 
Palestine region, to be exact, the Ottoman military hospitals rec- record the period as March, October 1915. These, these sentences are making me like, like, what? So these are pictures of, I'm guessing, Ottoman soldiers. And these are their trenches. This is the ships in the ocean that were hit. This is the Battle of Gallipoli. Yeah, that's what I thought, the Battle of Gallipoli. You can see from here. You don't remember the Battle of Gallipoli? It is Chapter 4, The Runner, in Battlefield 1. The Gallipoli Campaign, Middle Easterns. You know, when you're to Australia, they were taking over the base from, I think it was the Ottomans or somebody else. Some other country. But they had, so Ottomans had a war with Russia. They had war with Britain in. Then the Empire and the Home Front. Let's see. The war tested the war tested to the limit of the Empire's relations with its Arab population. In February nineteen fifteen in Syria, Simul Pasha exercised absolute power in both military and civil affairs. Alright. This is the home front. This is Lieutenant Colonel Gerard Leachman, disguised as Bedouin, soldiers in the share of Mecca carrying the Arab flag. Resistance members from the Adapazari Committee and Murad Sebasta, Sebastia and his comrades fought at Sivas during 1915. He had a war in Eastern Europe, political activities. But they had, so Ottoman empires had a war with Russia, Britain, and that's mostly it. Just Russia and Britain. Okay, okay. So is that it? That, that's all their military pu- military background? That they had a bunch of stuff going on during the Battle of Sakharamish, Caucasus campaign, Persian campaign, um, Armatus of Erizinkan, Treaty of Brestilovic with the Russian SFSR. They had to stipulate it in boat Bolshevik Russia seed Batum cars and Ardhan Battle of Bash Aboran Treaty of Batum Armenian Armenian National Council The Battle of Baku I remember Baku in the Caspian Sea in Battlefield 4 I guess they oh damn they're zooming I guess they had another war over here Oh, you can see in this picture, you see guys, the Ottomans here. This is their flag standing up. This is a, probably a a ship that they just shot. I don't know if this is like a, a field gun that they went, pew, boom, everything like that. Really? It's right there. Artillery, Ottoman artillery bombarding the city. Artillery, that's exactly what it is. It's artillery gun. Boom. But, you know, that was the end of this video of all the Ottoman Empire background during World War I. They came in the war. They they they, they bombed the Russian Black Sea. I think that's what it was called, the Black Sea. Into the war and surprise attack on the Russian's Black Sea coast on October 1914. And that's how they came into the war. Then Russia was great allies with Britain. And Britain was like, we'll help you. And then Britain and Russia fought the Ottoman Empire. And the Ottoman Empire was then dead in 1922 after they broke apart. And that's the end of this video. Remember this, guys, for your social studies tests so you can pass it. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. So like always, stay healthy, stay sexy. And I'll see you guys in my next video.